Welcome to a new RKB bearing induces educational video, where we deal with two special heat treatments that RKB performs on its products to provide heavy duty applications with higher levels of reliability and performance. As common knowledge, heat treatments for rolling bearings alternate heating and cooling operations under controlled atmospheric conditions to impart the desired material characteristics such as hardness, high tensile strength, improved machinability, proper grain size and reduced stress state. The thermal cycles that produce these specific material properties include the phases of annealing, normalizing, hardening, carburizing, tempering and stress relieving. In addition to these conventional treatments, RKB Bearing Industries can perform two special heat treatments on its products, the RKB Bainite treatment and the RKB Dimensional Stabilization treatment. Depending on application requirements, these treatments can be applied independently or together on one or both bearing rings. The RKB Bainite treatment is an austempering type treatment in which bearing components, especially inner and outer rings, are quenched from the austenitizing temperature around 840 centigrade to a temperature slightly above that where martensite forms around 220 centigrade, which is the lower Bainite transformation zone. Bearing rings are held at this temperature until their entire volume reaches a uniform temperature and austenite transforms into Bainite. For the quenching process lasting 3 to 7 hours, the RKB group makes use of a controlled atmosphere with a special nitrogen added coolant to achieve the critical quench rate, which prevents the formation of undesirable soft constituents. The proper Rockwell hardness reached by our products varies between 58 and 62 HRC. In this movie clip you can see some of the top class equipment used by RKB T3 manufacturing plant for the isothermal bainite treatment. According to our long-standing expertise, by combining the most modern machines and appropriate technological parameters, depending on material type and ring thickness, we obtain premium bearings suitable for critical severe applications. The benefits offered by the RKB Bainite treatment to our bearings are related to the high ductility level, high impact, wear and fatigue resistance, high and uniform hardness and low incidence of cracking. True hardened martensitic steel always contains a percentage of residual austenite which doesn't allow the use of the bearing at temperatures above approximately 120 centigrade. In fact, at these operating temperatures the transformation of residual austenite into martensite brings an increase in the specific volume of the steel. In this way the bearing undergoes a dimensional variation whose amplitude and speed depend on the holding time at this temperature, which leads to a modification in the shaft bearing and bearing housing fits and therefore in the operating clearance. Consequently, when the operating temperature of the bearing exceeds around 120 centigrade, a more stable material microstructure is required. The RKB dimensional stabilization treatment is a tempering treatment that enables our bearings to operate at their best at temperatures between 120 centigrade and 350 centigrade without any dimensional changes occurring. The most common dimensional stabilization treatments that the RKB group uses for its bearings are S0 and S1. These two tempering treatments are performed to obtain both a proper dimensional stability at operating temperatures up to 200 centigrade and specific mechanical properties like improved toughness, ductility and hardness. As this diagram clearly shows, at normal tempering temperature 150 to 200 centigrade, by using S0 and S1 treatments, we obtain a proper value for ring hardness, which varies between 58 and 63 HRC. To eliminate the retained austenite, we can perform S2, S3 and S4 tempering treatments up to around 600 centigrade. However, in this way, a good dimensional stability of the steel is reached to the detriment of its hardness and ductility level. The RKB dimensional stabilization treatment is performed in oil bath for approximately one hour. In this video clip you can see how the RKB group performs a correctly conducted tempering treatment on one of its products. First of all, the bearing ring is introduced into the tempering furnace and taken to the right temperature. Afterwards, it is removed from the furnace and quenched in an oil bath for approximately one hour. The benefits offered by the RKB dimensional stabilization treatment to our bearings are related to the high level of hardness and ductility, improved fatigue 
and wear resistance, dimensional stability and better control of the clearance. This flowchart represents the applications of the RKB special heat treatments depending on steel type, namely SAE 52100, SAE 52100A and SAE A 495 RAV or RKB type RAV. The RKB bainite treatment can be applied to bearing rings made of SAE 52100 steel if they don't exceed 17 mm thickness. At RKB we can apply HB treatment to inner ring only HB3 or to both rings HB1. The RKB HB3 treatment is carried out when the technical application requires a mounting process with high interference fit between the inner ring and the shaft. In this way we significantly reduce the internal stresses due to the previous thermal cycles that, in conjunction with an excessive interference fit, may cause the inner ring to crack. The RKB HB1 treatment is selected when the technical application needs a high interference fit between the inner ring and the shaft and the outer ring and the housing. By reducing the cracking incidence in both rings, we assure our bearings higher performance and reliability. In addition, if the thickness of rings does not exceed 17 mm, also the RKB dimensional stabilization treatment can be applied to bearing rings made of SAE 5200 steel. RKB has the ability to conduct the dimensional stabilization treatment for operating temperatures up to 350 centigrade corresponding to RKB S4. However, the higher the dimensional stability, the lower the hardness and ductility, with consequences on bearing service life. For ring thickness above 17 mm, the RKB dimensional stabilization treatment cannot be properly applied to the entire material volume, while the RKB bainite treatment can be correctly performed. Moreover, if rings are thicker than 17 mm, SAE 5200A steel can be used for our bearings. In this case, the RKB bayonet treatment HB1 and HB3 cannot be applied to the rings because their hardness, due to the high content of silicon and manganese, would increase drastically, making them brittle. By contrast, all RKB dimensional stabilization treatments can be accurately applied to the bearing rings made of SAE 5200A. In case of bearings for crucial applications, the RKB group uses SAE 485 RAV or RKB type RAV steel. For this material, both RKB special heat treatments are allowed independently of ring thickness. By combining these treatments with the RKB tough roller technology and the steel of high cleanliness and superior mechanical qualities, we provide our bearings with higher level of performance and reliability. Summarizing, the RKB special heat treatments ensure better mechanical properties, better dimensional stability, lower incidence of cracking, and better behavior in critical applications, particularly when associated with RKB type RAV steel and tough roller technology. All these qualities lead to the higher reliability and performance of our rolling bearings. The RKB special heat treatments are particularly suitable for the bearings used in applications such as power transmission equipments, steel mill equipments, crushers, extruder equipments, and more.